welcome back, Antoinette from Antoinette Intuitive Tarot and Jewellery. Let's take a look at my July setup for my tarot journaling. This is my beautiful Elver here leather, extra fat, chunky, super chunky um, journal. Yes, it has all of those in and they are full size lecterns, journals and books. So... <laughs> It's just so cute. It's not a pile of messy books on the side as it would otherwise look. So this is just, I love it. Yes, I have to take the stuff out to write in them, but that to me is part of my ritual. So I've already gone ahead. This is the string that this one sits on. So here's my Stalogy A5 that I'm now moving into from my standard traveller's notebook. Just move those out of the way. Um, I have got a plastic cover on this one just to protect the yellow from getting dirty. Um, these were just dead, dirt cheap from Amazon, A5 ones. Um, what do you need to know about this? So I have popped in here my word of the year, the things I was cultivating, where I get journal prompts from, and started with July. So um, I decided I wanted to work with less decks per month. So I listed out my three, well, two tarot decks primarily, and then, um, the oracle deck that I wanted to work with. And then the Tower of the She decided it wanted to remain in my collection and I squished it in the bottom here. And then Boho Tarot decided they were gonna do a July tarot challenge. And I decided I needed a different deck for that because it was about, um, it's a deep challenge. I can't remember the name of it. And I decided I wanted to use this deck because it hasn't had much love for me. So I've added that one onto the bottom specifically for that challenge. As you see, I have a space to put my new moon intentions and my full moon intentions and just simply washi tape and stickers so I can work my way through the pile of things that I have. Um, because it's July, I've already started this and for July or every month, I have been using the month ahead spread where I pull a card for each week. And it doesn't matter where the week starts or the month starts, sorry, in the week so Thursday was the first to Sunday the fourth today so that was week one to me and then um, that's why I've got five weeks for July I don't know where the 31st of July ends but 26 to the 31st is how that one finishes and I do like to pull um, a couple of oracle cards again this is the one oracle that I've selected to use this month and then a little bit of um, notations about how my reflections are with what's going on here Fridays currently continue to remain a reflection on how did my week go so a reflective spread with the energy to reflect on what i wanted to embrace and learn from the energy and what i need to release and leave behind and move forwards and then i do that um, with my own little kind of personal mantra reflection affirmation from what i get and all these little pictures like so i've got feathers pentacles poppies swords um, were all images that came out of the cards that I was using. And for this spread, I used um, the Crow Tarot, which I've shown. Today is Sunday, and I've already put my spread in for today. So um, I pulled my cards, which were actually from the Everyday Witch. So these were my cards, and I had the uh, base energy, which was the Emperor. And... I normally do my key for my tarot, but instead today I've written it on, but I actually decided I wanted some colourful cards. So I just pulled out from my sticker sheet um, some cards which obviously don't match, but they are the standard, what we'd expect, study deck style images. And then my little affirmation thoughts about the entire read to remind me. I also have done my card of the day here. So I've pulled my card, I've put my key in, and um, just put some keywords that I felt went with it. A couple of cards actually fell out and collectively, um, they gave me both the words recognition and reflection, although it was a three of swords, which was still to me a reflective sort of card. Um, and recognition, by the way, isn't necessarily recognition for me, it's recognition of others. Before you all start saying that's not a recognition card, although it can be, depending on how you look at what you're recognizing. So as I said, this is the A5 Stalogy. I haven't pre-laid any of my days up this time, but what I have done is pre-stickied some um, 
pages with you know just stickers and washi tape that I have lying around. For some reason I have a coffee washi tape, it came in a set, so I'm just trying to use it up because I'm not actually a coffee drinker. Um, I'm British, so it's tea. <laughs> uh, so there's all these coffee stickers I'm trying to use up. I do wish they said tea. So I've just pre-stuffed a few pages ready to go. And um, that way, if I choose to do a spread, so say the tarot challenge comes up, I can just use the next page available. And that's probably how I'll work. So um, I'll just work the challenge into my standard kind of normal planning. And then if the new moon spread comes up, I can work that in as well, rather than being stuck and getting through and thinking, oops, I didn't leave space for that one. So I quite like the idea of that. The only other thing maybe useful to mention to you guys is, so I've shown this, this is the key. So because this is like a Tomo paper, these are the pens that I tried out. Um, it turns out the Zebra fountain pen, the Stadler micro fine liners, and the dual tip art marker, fine end, not thick end, my standard biro, and my mild liner highlighters are good to use on this paper because there's the thick end of my um, dual tip art marker, so that's the brush end that comes through. My Zebra Sarasa, Sahar, I don't know, 0.7 gel pens anyway, come through. So I can't use those, which is a pain because I love writing with them. So those are these. Um, so I've got like loads of them, but that's okay because I've got other journals I can use them up in. So I can't use these in this because it bleeds through and I want to write on both sides of the page. No, it's not a big issue, I know. Um, and for those who wonder how I notate my cards, this is my key. So that's my symbol for wands. Um, I figure it's like a magic wand. <laughs> I do it in red for the element green circle for pentacles and then um, next to these or inside these I just write the number of the card um, swords for air or fire and then I use these so a for ace numbers two to ten for the pips a small kn for knight a big p for page q for queen big k for king and I write them either next to or inside the images and then I use a purpley colour for the majors slash spirit because I feel like sometimes it's the spirit of the reading. That's why I write the word spirit there. And then here is my, oops, sorry, here is my key symbols that I use for the major arcana. So I just hold that there. For those of you on a phone, you can screenshot that. There we go. So that is my tarot journal and my daily pulse and they all live in here so I'll put it back on my string in a minute but that's just part of my like mindful journaling for me is you know taking the one that I need out and using it and then putting it away again so this was the only other thing to mention so I've already talked about these pens, so these are the ones that I can't use on the Stalogy paper. This is the mild liner that does work, and this came in the pack of uh, five, was it, that I've talked about in my birthday videos. These are the dual tip art pens, so it's this end that I can use, not this end. Um, I haven't tried Tomo's because they're quite expensive and this pack was really cheap. Again with these, these were really cheap for a pack of six disposable, <laughs> don't hate me, um, fountain pens just so I could see if I liked using them basically. I just wanted to know if I liked using fountain pens, if it was something I wanted to go back into and what kind of colour ink I might choose as my refill. So the idea is I will eventually have a reusable, refillable fountain pen after I've used these, unless of course there's a way of refilling them, unless I discover a way of refilling them, then I'll stick with these because they actually write really nicely. I love the nibs because they are just rounded. 
no calligraphy style on the ends, so they write beautifully for me. Then my page for stickers. So this is the sheet of stickers I have. So you see there's just lots and lots and lots and lots of stickers that I got from somebody advertising on Facebook. So I ordered them. I'm really pleased with those. I think I called them stickers, tower stickers, but actually I think they're called magic notes. I'm sure if you type that into Google, it comes up. They were $20 for that pack and also a downloadable file however beware of the downloadable file because i'm not sure if it didn't come with a virus so you don't need to download the file i think this is enough um that's up to you anyway I, that could just be me because i'm terrible with computers but just check should you get that email and you download it just put it somewhere quarantine it and check it before you do anything with it i'm not saying that it's the sender's fault but you know you never can tell sometimes can you when you um upload and download things right that's everything i think i was going to talk about my decks i'll um show those more at the end with the rest of my stuff hopefully when i go through my journal i will do a separate video in a minute about my grimoire so please keep an eye out for that one have a fantastic sunday enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in the next one bye